Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the Akai MPC, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 5.0, and I actually wanted to kind of talk through using the MPC with, I'll just turn it up here, my uh, modular setup. And for this video, I'm just calling it dot zero. It's kind of an intro, because I want to talk about a few things I got going on here. First, I do have splitters so that I can get my CV outs from one to eight. Otherwise, if you just plug in, you're only a TR cable or TS cable, sorry, you'll only be able to address CV one through four. So in case I want to use all eight, I got these splitters so I can do that. I do have one and two going out, uh, outputs going to my monitors, basically. Uh, three and four are actually coming into uh, from, I uh, can't see. I'm going to go back up here. Three and four are coming in from the side of my case. I actually modded the case. I drilled some holes and put a line to Euro level and then Euro level to line modules that have been put in the side up here. I've got some older videos showing that. Just some, I modded in some utility stuff down here on the bottom. I've actually got something to go from Euro level to guitar level or instrument level and then instrument level back up to Euro level. So it just allows me to kind of use the modular to get a lot of signals in and out of it. On the side, I've actually got the Pamela's new workout uh, adapter that gives you your uh, MIDI and DIN outputs so that you can clock that way as well as it's got a few different clock divider versions that are just the, I think one for 16th and I think there's another one just so that I can get more outputs and I've got some some other stuff I've modded into the case so I'll maybe do another walkthrough again one of these days but what I want to show you is three and four of the MPC which you now can't see that I'm pointing at so three and four out our outputs on the MPC three and four are coming into the this lower morphogene and up top I've got the outputs five and six for the MPC going up there. And then on my uh, patch bay, I've just patched the outputs for the output one and two that I have going from Euro back down is going through from the mixer into the, the 4MS recorder. So I could just record, I just like having this at the end of the chain so I can always just record real quick if I'm just messing around and want to make sure I don't lose something. That is then going out. The one and two are coming back into the Akai MPC so that I can get, basically this is like an effects loop or instrument or whatever I need it to be when I need it. And I can do all kinds of fun patching stuff. So I think on the first few videos, I'm going to show how I'll go about setting up some of the modular and MPC just to get things connected and some of the thoughts for why I do a few things the way I do. And then we'll just start into getting into sampling and recording stuff off of uh, the modular and kind of doing some of the patch stuff. So if that sounds fun to you, cool, hang out and check out the rest of session five. Otherwise, I'll catch up with you guys on some other videos. Keep making music and peace.